The idea that changed everything was when I realized that school had been a river and work was now the sea. And I'd been totally prepared to thrive in one, to be successful in one, and, and totally unprepared for the other. And I had to face a singular question. Will I keep treading water? Now that I know this, will I keep treading water or will I start to swim? And when I started to sort all that out, something hit me. That all I'd ever learned to do, all I'd ever tried to do, was tread water. Was just to hold my ground, to, to do what came my way. And I'd never learned or even tried to swim. I'd never learned to set my own direction and pull myself out there. Because school had been a river in my life. There was a current that was guiding me down. It was guiding everyone down. Whether you got 50% or you got 90%, you showed up in the same grade with everyone else. And so it really didn't matter how well you did or how hard you tried. There was kind of this path that was being set for you. It was almost like a hand was kind of guiding you down. And school, like a river, has banks on both sides. There's kind of only a certain amount of options. You can only take a certain amount of classes. And so you really only kind of looked for what was right ahead of you. You didn't try to figure out what else is out there? What else could I learn? Or how else could I see this? You just did what was coming your way. And it started to let me focus and think that the world was linear, that it was just whatever I could see in front of me. And the thing, the way things work in school is that you're, you're given these assignments, you're given these tests, and you, you do them, you hand them in, you get them marked, you get this instant feedback, you got a sense for how you're doing, but it kind of gets you into this routine where all you need to do is what's being asked. That you don't really need to set the direction for yourself, somebody else is setting it. And on top of that, you just need to follow. You just need to follow what's being asked. And in my eyes, what I was learning was how to tread water. And then one day it changed. I was no longer in this place that had a current. You'd emptied out into this expanse of water, this huge sea that had no current. It was, there was almost like there was waves that was pushing you back. And whether you did the same as everyone else, whether you, got, whether you did well or not, it started to separate people. People's abilities and their hard work started to show a difference in their life. And there was no banks, there was nothing to orient you, there was nothing to kind of confine you. You had every opportunity open to you, and I wasn't really prepared for what that meant. And so I was starting to look straight ahead when there was all these things, all these opportunities that were opening up on the sides. And what I also started to discover was that, unlike at school, if I just did my assignments, if I just did the tasks that were being asked of me, you were only being somewhat useful, but you were never realizing your full potential because you were just doing what was being set in front of you. You were never trying to figure out what else could I do? How else could I solve this problem? Or what else could I do that would really make this valuable for someone else or for myself? And I'd never discovered how to make that work. I just didn't, I just didn't get it. School had been a river and I'd done really well. And then I got into work, this place that I was waiting to get into, that I thought I was going to thrive in. And that was the sea and I was totally unprepared. Because people succeed because they learn how to swim. They discover how to find targets out there on the horizon that nobody else can see and they find a way to start to pull themselves out in that direction. And when the waves get high, they find a way to grit their teeth and to get over them because they can see something and they're heading somewhere that is important to them and other people. And they find a way throughout all of that opportunity to set a direction for themselves and to simply go. And they learn how to navigate a totally different environment than what they've been learning previously. I call that, that was the river, this is the sea. And so the question I often ask people is, are you treading water or are you swimming? And when you fully recognize the importance of that answer, it, it changes everything.